to my series on designing digital business cards with Adobe Express and using them to make business networking more fun and enjoyable. My name's Kitty Apolaskis. I'm a craft-based designer, content creator, and Adobe Express ambassador, and this is the third episode in our series. If you're a small business owner, freelancer, product-based business, or just starting out, this is the series for you. If you haven't watched the past two episodes, be sure to jump back and check them out and hit subscribe to this channel for more great Adobe Express tips and tutorials. In our last episode, I showed you how to remix an existing template in Adobe Express to create your own unique digital business card design. In today's episode, we are going to use the brand new QR code generator feature in Adobe Express to create a QR code that links to this design. And then we're gonna set it up ready to use at your next networking event. So let's get into it. So how does the QR code work with digital business cards? I'm gonna demonstrate it to you now. So I've sent my digital business card design to my phone with the QR code included in the design. It's just saved to my camera roll. When somebody asks for my business card, I'll pull up this image from the camera roll and then they can scan the QR code with their own phone. The link will take them to a Google Drive version of the business card design, which they can then save to their own camera roll so they can access it whenever they wanna contact me. In the last episode, we downloaded our digital business card design as a PNG file onto our computer. Now we're going to upload this design to a cloud-based storage platform like Google Drive or Dropbox so that we can access a link to its location and use this to create our QR code. Once you've generated the shareable link and made sure that you've set the image to public access, we're going to copy that link. Next, we're going to hop over to express.adobe.com and from the landing page, navigate to our menu of quick actions. You'll see that QR code is now a quick action that we can use. We're gonna click on that and it opens up the QR code generator. You'll see that there are a few customization options for your QR code. You can change the visual design and you can also select from five colors which each have high visibility, which is going to make it easier to scan the QR code. You can also choose to save your QR code as a PNG file, JPEG or SVG file. Down the bottom is a place to paste our link. So we're gonna do that. And once we have done that, we're gonna hit create QR code and then download it as the file of your choice. Now we're gonna jump back into our design in Adobe Express and create a duplicate of our digital business card design. I'm going to label it QR just so that I can tell the difference. Then we're gonna insert the QR code in place of our image here, and then adjust the look if necessary to make it as easy as possible to scan it. Then all we have to do is download it as a PNG file and send it to our phone, ready to pull up on screen and be scanned by whoever we're networking with. As mentioned before, they'll scan the QR code, which will bring up the version of our business card that we saved to Google Drive, and then they can easily save the image on their phone for reference later. In the final episode of this series, I'm gonna show you how to create another digital business card option in Adobe Express from scratch without using a template. I'll also share with you what I think are important features to include in a digital business card design. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss when the next step drops. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.